Hey guys, welcome to the 193rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our writer class. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is create a method to write a single byte. So we're just going to create a public um, method with a return type of void since we don't need the user to get any information from this method. And then we're just going to um, name this method write byte since that's exactly what it's going to be doing, just writing a single byte. And then we're going to need to get what byte the user wants written. So we're just going to have the user pass through here the byte they want to write. And we're just going to say byte, and I'm just going to call it to write. All right. And now we're just going to use the write method inside of the binary writer class to write this single byte. So we're just going to say bw.write, and then that single byte that the user wants us to write. So to write. All right. Now, just like in the reader class, we just had something for a read byte, and we don't really have to do much uh, to the read byte or write byte because it's just a single byte and doesn't have anything to do with big endian or little endian. But now, in the next method, we're going to have to, when we're writing a byte array, actually um, change the order of the byte array depending on if it's big endian or little endian. So we're going to go right here and create a new method. So we're going to say public. Uh, void write bytes and in this method the user will be able to write a byte array so we're just going to say byte array and then bytes to write all right and like i said if the user has the um, byte order set to big endian then we're going to have to reverse this um, bytes to write array so it'll end up writing it in the correct order because defaultly the binary writer class just like the binary reader class will write in little endian. So what we're gonna have to say here is if byte order equals um, byte order dot uh, big endian, then we're just gonna have to reverse this bytes to write array. So we're just gonna say array dot reverse, oops, dot, dot reverse, and then that um, bytes to write array. So we're just gonna basically reverse this array's order. All right, and only if it's big endian, it'll reverse the array. And then after that, we're just going to have it write this byte array. So we're just going to say bw for our binary writer dot write, and then um, our byte array right here. So bytes to write. All right, so let me just explain why we're going to have to reverse it right here. So imagine if the user passed through here a byte array with two elements in it. It had ff and then fd. All right, so basically what the user wants us to see in the file would be ff and then fe right inside of the file. So they'd want to see ff and then fe right like that. All right, well, if we didn't have this if statement right here, what it would just go ahead and do is start writing at the right. So it'd start writing and be like, all right, we're going to write ff, and then we're going to go here and write fe. All right, so that's little endian, perfect. Well, if it's big endian, we want it to start writing at the left. So we'd want it to start writing ff and then fe like that way. Oops. Fe like that. So as you can see, if we didn't reverse it, it would end up writing fe ff. Well, if it's big endian, we want it to write ff fe. All right. So now that you understand that, let's just move on to writing um, integers, like an int 16, for example. So we're going to go right here and say public void uh, write int 16, and then we're just going to have them pass through the uh, short or the int 16 that they want to write. So we're just going to say right here short, and I'm just going to call this to write. All right. So just like before, we're going to have to reverse it if the byte order is big endian. So we're going to say um, byte array buffer equals bit converter dot get bytes and then that short to write so to write and the reason that we're converting it into a uh, byte array is so that we'll be able to reverse it if the byte order is big endian and then we can just write it as a byte array at the end so we're just going to say right here if byte oops if uh, byte order that the user has set is big endian, then we just want to reverse this buffer array. So if it's big endian, we're just going to say array dot reverse and then uh, buffer. 
and only if it's big endian it'll reverse it otherwise it's do nothing and then we're just going to write that buffer array right here so we're just going to say bw for our binary writer and then dot write and then we're just going to write this byte array right here called buffer all right and you're going to want to do this for all the different data types so for an int uh, for a uint 16, for an int 32, a uint 32, an int 64, and a uint 64. So I'm just going to give you a real quick example of just changing this. So all you're going to have to really do is copy it, paste, change the name of the method. So it'll be a uint 16 now. We're writing a u short, so an unsigned uh, int 16. And that's really all you have to do. So you're going to want to do that for, like I said, int 32, uint 32. Um, int64 and uint64. Alright, and one more thing that you're probably going to want to do is just have a quick summary of what each method does. But it's not mandatory, but I think it just makes it a lot easier for a user to read your class. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.